David H. Matthews titled his book Lemons and Lemonade. But it's my first book. My midlife dabble in online romance. I wasn't primarily looking for a wife. It's a self-searching, saucy, comical romp of sifting through eHarmony online profiles Stop. and face-to-face -face encounters. Helmet. Hello, Nell. Want to chat a bit? Matthews read from a ben, chapter no. titled Nervous Nelly at a recent reading at Boswell's. She was as utterly forgettable as my first year Latin teacher. <laughs> Interest in his story of a twice divorced Southside car salesman in his late 50s has drawn mostly a female readership. What is it about recently singled men and motorcycles? <laughs> we caught up with Matthews again. This was a manuscript here. At home in River Hills writing an essay about online dating for a national magazine. It was fun, and it was entertaining, and it was scary, and it was daunting, and it was successful. Pew Research stats on who's using online dating sites show that from 2013 to 15, use nearly tripled for singles from 18 to 24, and doubled for people in Matthew's age bracket. Which leads us to another chapter. Bless you, lady, was conflicted, as many of us are, focused on uh, ecumenical things, but also a little naughty. After a cop interrupted a romantic moment in a park. That scared her, and it kind of scared me and made me mad, and that was the last that bless you, lady, and I had. It was on to the next prospect. If you saw one of them today, they'd want to just go, seriously, you wrote this about me? It's a good question. I was very sensitive to that because parts of my um, tales uh, are not flattering, but they're not flattering to me either. The final chapter, titled Claire, is the clincher. She grew up in New York City. I grew up in Indiana chasing pigs driving a tractor. He says they never would have met in real life. Take note, there's a wedding ring on Dave's left hand. Yes, he and Claire, who prefers to keep her identity private,